Coming Congresswoman Liz Cheney facing the potential end of her career on the Hill as she trails her Republican challenger by nearly 30 points days before her state's primary election. Rich Edson is live from the campaign trail in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Hey, Rich. Hi, Griff. This is the final push here, the marquee matchup between a Trump-backed candidate and Congresswoman Liz Cheney. She is the vice chair of the January 6th committee. She has been a vocal critic of former President Donald Trump, even calling him a domestic threat to the United States. Cheney is trailing big time, according to a recent University of Wyoming poll. Uh, the uh, Trump-backed candidate Harriet Hageman, she's an attorney and former candidate, she's opened up a substantial lead on Cheney of about 30 percentage points, with 4% support among other candidates and 10% undecided. The rodeo is also in Cheyenne. We spoke to voters there last night about the Trump factor in this race. One pastor told us the former president's approach to picking Supreme Court justices, pro-life, support of Israel, and education all motivates his vote. I've never seen anybody stronger on some of those issues that I care, I preach about, you know, and he, he, uh, he was right, in the, right on all those issues, in my, my opinion. So his endorsement matters? Yeah, it matters. I think that endorsement is a load of bull hockey. I don't think that it's I don't think that it's necessary because we should be looking at what these people are standing for. Part of getting Cheney renominated is to convince Democrats and independents to register as Republicans and vote in this primary. Voters may do that here. The Wyoming Secretary of State says since January, the number of registered Republicans is up more than 11,000. And there are more than 6,000 fewer registered Democrats. That indicates, perhaps, that a number of Democrats are re-registering as Republicans so they can vote in this primary. There are more than four times as many registered Republicans than Democrats in Wyoming. No surprise here that former President Trump carried this state with nearly 70 percent of the vote in 2020. Hageman has recently sided with the former president on his unsubstantiated claim that the election that year was rigged. Wyoming has already been voting in this one, early voting, absentee voting. That's uh, possible here. That started about six weeks ago, Griff. Back to you. Rich Jetson, live for us in Wyoming. Rich, thank you.